talk about religion with a twist. So let's get started and have some fun. Welcome our hosts for tonight, the Rebellious Rev and the Doc. There is no heaven. There is no hell. There is only this world and its dark reflection. And we do not know in which of the two worlds we are. And this is the doc, and I drank my own urine. Oh, that's the wrong show, too. Sorry about sure. that. <laughs> All right. Tell everybody why don't you. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It's no secret. I was thirsty. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show. You don't know what to say about that, do you? No, I have no idea what to say. No comeback whatsoever. No, no none at all. <laughs> There's a few times that I that I shut up, but this is one time I'm going to keep quiet. <laughs> Impossible. Oh boy. Anytime, anywhere, I can pray. And Jehovah will hear what I say. And this is the doc, once again. Okay, I want to read you a quick definition. An evangelist is a person marked by evangelical... Evangel evangelical. I misspelled it, that's why you didn't catch it. Evangelical enthusiasm for support of any, support of any group. For enthusiasm for or support of any group. Which means... If you believe in something, if you support something, you're going to... By the way, you had the word evangelists, and you could use it that way, but not the way you were talking. You were mispronounced. You weren't saying it right, but no, it could be evangelical, or no, if no, you read no, the no, sentence... No, the way we spelled it. We spelled... Read the sentence again. A person walked by evangelical. That's what it says. We misspelled it. Where? Right here. Well, but you should know what you typed. Know, you meant the evangelical. <laughs> Don't read what you typed. I know, but I'm looking at it. So what's wrong with that? And you corrected me there. You're just supposed to be my Well, because I assumed it was evangelical. It was close enough. You had one wrong letter. How do you spell it now? E V A N G E L I C A L. Alright, got it right this time. Wait a second, I copied it right from uh, that was a quotation, right from the encyclopedia. Well then you must have copied it wrong. No no it was copied wrong. Copy and paste. Well, who said they don't make mistakes? Or maybe there's another word we don't know about. Whatever. Anyways, the point of this is I was going through some uh, different radio stations uh, and I found that there are 
people promoting atheism quite strongly. Well, I mean, if people are going to promote one religion over another, why not have an atheist promote his beliefs or her beliefs? Exactly. You know, in which, uh, you know, the fact that there has been no, as far as they're concerned, there has been no proof of God's existence uh, since we weren't there at the beginning of time. And you and I both happen to be evolutionists as opposed to creationists. So, you know, as far as that goes. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, uh, but, but I do remember, and you and I were talking about this just before, when you talk about the Big Bang Theory, that one spark... Uh, back when Chad used to call us up, you remember Chad? Oh yes, now he's promoted to having his own yes, show. Yes, uh, we we he graduated and he now has his own show on Saturday nights. So uh, I'll plug him now, as opposed to I don't understand why he doesn't plug us on Mondays and Fridays. Uh, he, he plugged us right when I called in. Yeah, when you called in. No, he was, he was talking about just before that. But in any event, the point the point still remains that. Since we weren't there, uh, you and I were not debating the fact that maybe it was God who started that one big spark. You know, uh, what set the universe in motion? I have no idea. Uh, I have. Listen, I, I listen, I listen. Somewhere everything had to start. How did it start originally? I mean, it just. Nobody really knows. Very yeah, true. Everybody knows there's a big bang and everything else, but where did the universe come from? Where did this, you know, you could just keep going back and back. And who, you know, it, it's, a, it's an ever-ending cycle. Well, no, it depends. If you're a Christian or an evangelical, you can only go back no, 6,000 no, years. No, 6,000 no, years. No, evangelical could be an atheist. No, what I'm saying is they only go back 6,000 years. They don't go back billions of years. Things you have to uh... you know in the beginning there was darkness upon the face of the earth okay it was a total void mm -hmm. and then God started to create according to the Bible according to Genesis you know I, I mean I can you know I, I agree that God started to create but I just don't see him start to create the way Genesis has it with Adam and Eve that to me, that's a little bit, that's a, to me a small like a fairy tale than anything else. You know, people use religion as a crutch when they don't crutch, when they don't understand it. Well, Felix, I said that a long time. I mean, you know, when, as a teacher, okay, when I was doing mythology, Roman and Greek mythology, I mean, I would tell my students that to ancient Greeks and Romans, when they couldn't explain something, they went to the gods, and they had many gods for a lot of different things, and that's how they would explain how the sun moves across the sky, okay, the fact that Apollo would drag the sun from east to west with his chariot, okay, or that Poseidon in the seas uh, controlled the tide and the water. These were things that they couldn't explain scientifically. So, of course, they went to what we would call mythology. They would go to the gods. Uh, no different now when we talk about how the earth came about, why you have religious uh, believers say it was God. Others say it was the Big Bang and it happened billions of years ago. Um, but as we said originally, when Chad used to call in, we don't know where that first spark came from. You and I both said, well, since we believe in God, a God, okay, that very possibly it was God who did that. Oh, by the way, Chad, I, I, told, I was talking to Chad, he finally said, yes, I agree with you. Our God and your God is the same God. Oh, he's sure about that now? 
He what? used to argue with us all the time. What? That was then. But once the Jesus was born, he took over. And now it's our God is one of the one of the true you know, the, the Trinity always along with the Jesus and uh, you know, I thought it God the Father sent Jesus in human form and he's called the Son. But now he's saying that the Son and the Father are one and the same. So then how is it a trilogy anymore? And also uh, the Holy Ghost. You know, I don't understand this. It might not be... Well, Elisa, Elisa read us the description of the Holy Spirit from uh, her daughter's uh, catechism book. Yeah. I don't remember what it was, but uh, if she's listening, or maybe she'll call in later and refresh our memory. Uh, you know, I think I had my microphone turned off the whole time. Not yours, because mine doesn't work right. Well, but according to that, you were broadcasting, Because I just turned it on. So, well... So I went to look. That's so I went to look, and all I saw. Well, was, we'll find out. All I saw was black on my side. Well, but I yeah. But in the past, when Elisa uh, came on, she said even though mine was turned off, she said she did hear me. So you might have been picked up by my yeah uh, microphone. Oh, I was picked up, you but know. I could but I could tell when I was on the checking the uh, speaker, I was not on it at all. Oh, talking about being picked up, have you opened up the uh, chat room? I open up the chat room and Spreaker and in the Block Talk Radio and our phone number is 646-595-3275. Yeah, but we don't have to convey the number. I mean, all it's we have written, to do is... It's written right there. No, all we have to do is think about it. Think yeah. About it. yeah. Mental, also, mental telepathy. Also, I'm gonna if, if you want to call us on Skype, it's trucking to heaven. Is our ID. Oh, I completely forgot about that. That's our ID for Skype, if that's, you want to call That's it. how we started. Trucking to heaven. My, oh, my, how we've come a, and we'll we've have come a, a long way, we, baby. Yeah, yeah we, we're driving our truck, and all of a sudden, that road and, got and real the, narrow, uh, and we fell right off <laughs> as we were driving. And and your favorite song, you no longer play anymore. I played it last week. Roadkill Blues? Yeah. But you hear what I said? Driving up that that highway to heaven and the road got too narrow and the truck fell off. <laughs> and that was the end of the show. Very possibly, very well, possibly, yeah. yes. You can't try you can't take your track the trailer to heaven. But getting back to what we, we, we do have many things to discuss, aside from discussing <clears throat> atheism, okay, and the beginning of our very existence. Uh, we have politics to discuss, we have news to discuss. Uh, for those of you Met fans who have finished drowning your sorrows now that it's been a week, uh, they uh, have re-signed their manager for another two years, and uh, deservedly so. Um, but as I as I said during the World Series, when everybody was touting the prowess of Daniel Murphy. Uh, the Mets, it's very questionable whether the Mets are going to be able to re-sign him because he may just want too much money, which is a distinct possibility. Okay, this is, this frequently happens not only in baseball, but in hockey and in football and basketball. When a player, uh, outperforms to a certain degree, uh, they put themselves out on the open market. So it depends how much he wants to remain a Met. So we'll have to see. But that's months away. We don't even discuss that now. Right uh, now we're still in, we're at the beginning. We're still, we're in the middle of football season. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to bring one thing in, into, into light. Even though we're talking about, we're varying off the topic of atheists and evangelists and all that. No, we'll if, come back you, to it. No, no, if you're an evangelist or if you're an atheist or anything else and he, 